What is up my new event friends? Today I'm going to show you a few things about Telescope and how I have it configured. I'm just going to show you a few different things. I really want to do a more in-depth video about Telescope because it's a really, really useful technology and plugin into the NeoVim ecosystem. But that aside, let's jump into how I have Telescope configured and some really awesome extensions that I'd love to share with you. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and hit that like and subscribe button if you like the content and you like NeoVim stuff. It really helps others to see all this content and helps me out too. So appreciate that and let's jump into it. All right, so at the top here, this is my telescope.lua file, and this is in my after plugin config in the NeoVim directory. This will auto load. I'm still kind of in the middle of migrating to lazy InVim. I have everything migrated, but really want to collapse a lot of these configs into a different place. But for now, let's just talk about this telescope file. This first section here has all of the key maps. I'll also leave a link in the description about where you can see this on GitHub. The first one that basically everyone uses is find files. So for me, my leader key is space. And so if I hit space FF, you should see a bunch of files and I can do control P and control N to go up and down. What this will do is do a fuzzy find. And so if I type Neo, then you can see it matches NeoClip, but also matches up here because the N, E, and O are also matched in that plugin telescope. Really useful, really handy. You can also do Control U and Control D to scroll up and down in the preview window, which I thought was really cool. And then if you want to split this out into a vertical split, then you can do Control V. And if you wanted to split this out into a new tab, you would do Control T. And you can see I have different tabs, really useful stuff. This is kind of the default config for telescope. Now, if I close this and we go back to our just one buffer split window, I have this extension here for doing a live grep. By default, whenever you do FG, then you see this live grep. There's a built-in that is actually a live grep. But what I found myself doing a lot is wanting to find a string within a certain list of files. So if I did fun, then I see a lot of these different files and maybe I just wanted to look for the markdown files. Well, with this extension, and I'll, I'll share that here in a second. If I go back and I surround this with quotes, then I can do a dash T and have it end with Dot md and that will filter it all the way down into just the readme file so that you know if we wanted to restrict this to only lua files then we don't see that readme file anymore and this is really really handy to be able to search especially through large ruby code bases or large typescript code bases all right so that extension i won't get into how it's configured and everything essentially all of these are at the bottom of this file where you can load the extension and have it available in your telescope. Another one that I have configured is this key map where I'm filtering only by code. This one I had originally uh, using the built-in live grep, but I don't use this as much because I have this other fine grep. So I may end up getting the FC, but FC will only look through code. So if I had any spec files or test files in this directory, then they would get filtered out. Next up, we have buffers. So if I had other buffers open, which I do, then I can go up and down on these buffers and see what's going on. If I wanted to close them, my leader Q shortcut is how I close those, which is just an alias for BD. We have our help tags, and then this one is pretty handy for finding different document symbols. So leader FS, and you can see all the different functions that are inside of this file. If we go to a TypeScript project, then we can actually go to an index file and do leader FS. And this will show all of the different high level symbols that are showing up. So I like to use this to figure out which functions I have and quickly navigate to them. This does a fuzzy match as well. So leader FS and then fetch, then I can jump right down into that function right here. Really handy. All right, the next one that I have is this advanced Git search. And so this is leader FI, and this will let you select either the repo or for the log and do a search over the content of the commit. And so if I'm looking for a change that was made, I can go into this file 
and I can see all the different changes that were made. And let's say that I wanted to look for whenever this change was made for like cycle history. So you can see that if I look at that, then I can see only those two changes that are related to the cycle history. Really, really useful stuff to play around with that. This one, opening up old files. So leader FO, and I can see all the files that I had open previously. Really quickly get back into the flow or back into a session that I had closed before. And then this last one, leader FW. So if I have my cursor over some string, then I can do leader FW and it will look for that string. So this for us is doing telescope. So all the places that have telescope, or if I needed to do vim grep arguments, leader FW. And then this shows us all the places that has vim grep arguments. Really handy stuff. So these are the shortcuts that I have right now for all the telescope stuff. We go down a little bit, then I've modified a few of these. So I want to send all the selected items to the quick fix with control W. This is slightly different than the alt Q command that's originally configured. So what this does is if you open this up and you select a couple of these with tab, then I can do control W and it'll open in my quick fix list and I can hop between them. That way, if I needed to modify a couple of files, I can quickly jump back and forth. Let's jump back over to telescope and we'll close this window with a leader Q. And then these two will cycle the previous and next history. So if we do a find files again, I can do control and J and K and it'll Go back through the history of the different searches that I've done. So you can, again, quickly search for something if you've already searched for it. A few of these other things are configuring rip grep for finding hidden files. And then this undo extension is for searching through your undo history. So this is the load extension undo. For me, this is leader U. And I can see that I've done something in this file and I can quickly jump back to that state. This lets me see all the different changes that were made and I can jump back and forth between the different states of this file. So if I went through here, then I can see that I had a modified type and I can then undo or go back to where that state was. Quickly going over the last couple of these, NeoClip. So if I do leader O, this has all my paste buffers in it. So if I wanted to copy this, copy this, I can do leader O. And you can see that I have a paste buffer here, which is really handy for going back to a previously yanked string and using it. This one is for using FCF. So I can, whenever I'm doing find files, I can use FCF syntax, which gives you a few more options and being able to search through files and exclude or include files. And the last one that I've been using a lot is Zoxide. So you can do leader capital Z, and this will bring up the Zoxide window and all the different previous directories that you've jumped into, and then fuzzy search over them, which is really handy. The workflow that I used to use is I would go into the NeoVim directory, and then if I did a find files, then I would be able to find those files. So let's let's say that I was in a different app. Now if I did Zoxide, NeoVim, find files, then you can see I'm finding the files inside of my NeoVim directory, even though I'm working on a different application. And so I can jump back, by doing leader capital Z, go back into Dine Roulette is this app. And if I do find files, then I'm back in here and I'm able to search through this directory. That's everything I wanted to cover for now. If you have other questions or tips and tricks for telescope, definitely leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.